It's time for under 30 as we take a look at Marathon Digital, with some kind of restructuring of its debt and equity leading to some massive, massive movement here today, Jenny. Yeah, and I'm curious. I, oh, so I'd like to welcome in George Chelsea. I'm curious his thoughts here on if this is a marathon digital specific story or an overall crypto specific story, because we're also seeing other names with crypto exposure, like a Riot blockchain, for example, seeing some pretty steep selling today. So, George, is this related to this senior note exchange or is this the overall space seeing some weakness today? Uh, I think it has to do with the senior note exchange. Uh, the reason you're actually seeing competitors like Riot down, it's really a sympathy play on the percent change you're actually seeing in Marathon Digital. Now, it's down about 15%, and the really the news today, there was no material change in the business itself from the standpoint of earnings or sales, but essentially here, what we have is a, a calling of senior notes or conversion to common equity. So those who own the senior notes that are due in uh, 2026 are, are, are deeming or, or wanting, if you will, to convert the shares into common equity and this basically increases the share count to about 26.2 million additional shares, forgive me, uh, from 174 million shares. So what happens in this particular case is, is that the, the convertible bondholders are basically accepting a premium uh, on the principal uh, amounts of the bonds due in exchange for common equity. Now, one of the things you gotta keep in mind is, is that today's, it's really interesting to see this, but if you look at the percent change in the stock today, it actually closely corresponds to the percent change in the additional shares. So 26 million, 26.2 million additional shares on top of the 174 million on the balance sheet. This is again in the supplemental items you can find on the balance sheet is about 15%. So that's why you're seeing this, um, this move, which is again, that 15% to the downside. But one of the things I, I thought about this is why would the, uh, the senior note holders convert the shares if you actually look at the uh, short uh, float, it's about 27% of the free float. So uh, I don't think this uh, is the case for sure, but I suggest there's possibly uh, those who purchased the, sh the, 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 uh, the senior notes uh, in bonds actually were short the shares. And when they convert these bonds to shares, they actually have new shares that they could deliver to cover their shorts. But you can actually see it doesn't really materially change uh, the business outcome because essentially all it is is a capital structure change. It doesn't necessarily mean that the expectations for revenues or earnings are down. And George, I think this is the critical piece because if you were just watching a watch list and disregarding all financial news on your decisions and you see this move and maybe it gets to some level on your chart, whatever it may be, and it would trigger you to think that this is an opportunity to buy, Essentially, unless you are a shareholder coming into today, and of course you have issues then in terms of the 15%, this is effectively just an another day. It's just, of course, there's been this restructuring of, of capital that required this repricing yeah. of the stock, but there's nothing to say like, oh, 15% down, this is now a value play. From an earnings standpoint, from a, from a revenue standpoint, yeah. essentially the same, absent, whatever you wanna say of this 15% is day-to-day -day change. Okay, aside, aside, aside from the conversion, let's look at the, the, the technicals and fundamentals. If you actually look at Bitcoin today, it's relatively flat. So you're seeing a commensurate, not a commensurate, but a, a, that 15% decline in, in Marathon because of the conversion. If you look at the performance over the last uh, year, uh, Bitcoin is higher by 65%, Marathon is up by 200%. So it's a high beta way or a beta proxy of Bitcoin, but if you look at it over the last 52 weeks, Bitcoin is higher by 26%, Marathon is down by 10%. So over the longer term, let's say over a year or so, there's underperformance of Marathon. And the reason being is if you look at the sales in the past uh, 12 uh, months or four quarters, sales were about 175 million, but they lost about 485 million on, on less than 200 million in sales. That's not good. So what, we're, what I'm saying here is, is that there's an implied negative yield on the common equity. I can see why there's a lot of short sellers on the stock, but in the near term or short term, you can see outsized moves because if you look at Marathon year to date, it's up over, over 200%, uh, actually outpacing Bitcoin by quite a bit. But like I said, over 52 weeks, it's been underperforming because of the negative yield. And that's because of, again, uh, it's operating at losses and it needs equity essentially to finance those losses. So. You know, you have to look at the, the pros and cons. Uh, if you want to play Bitcoin on a short term basis with an outsized beta, in other words, a magnified return, but also magnified risk, this is certainly one way to do so. 
But to also keep in mind, if you look at the stock in the last seven weeks, it's down almost 50%. So that gives you an idea of, hey, you can make a lot of money on the upside if Bitcoin goes higher, but also there can be magnified losses on the downside. So that's just something you have to keep in mind. And, um, you know, I can't say whether to buy it or not, but, you know, I, I can see what's happening from a price uh, standpoint today because of the conversion. Yeah, and George, like you said, no doubt there's volatility in this name, so you have to be prepared for what comes with the upside yeah. is the significant downside like we're seeing yeah. today. And like 27% of its overall shares are sold short right now, which is relatively high. I mean, that's like meme stock level, basically. So a name that moves sure. and moves with conviction like we're seeing today. Great breakdown, though, on all things Marathon Digital. George Tellis, Senior Markets Correspondent here for the network.